how did this actually come about, this collaboration, uh, where uh, the French Institute of India decided to work with you? How, how did you reach out and was India something specific on your calendar? Um, I, I think we, uh, we started to thought about uh, going uh, to India and uh, make a tour with Les mm. Um after uh, two years or three years ago. Mm. And then Alice Bruno uh, was uh, of a great help mm. uh, to come back. Mm. And uh, also Angelica and, uh, and Prakiti. Oh, nice. And uh, you have a very interesting uh, performance-oriented, uh, you know, work with poetry. I mean, no one has conceived something like this uh, before, at least for the larger masses. And uh, it's interesting how something which is uh, so people visualize poetry as so removed from the common man, and you brought it right there. So, can you share a few experiences in different countries you had? Yes. And Yes, you know, yes, de defi definitely, it? yes. Well, um, uh, as, you, as you know, poetry uh, is in the books and uh, it's, a, it's a lonely activity. Yes. So when people read poems, uh, they believe that it's only for them. Mm. And uh, uh, we started uh, to free poetry from books mm. and to give them from mouth to hear. Mm. Um, Oliver, who created uh, Les Souffleurs mm. and who's keeping uh, artistic relations, mm. is uh, 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 something uh, particular about this. He's always telling that um, we are reproducing us ourselves. Mm. Everybody does uh, one step towards the others. Yes. And it's also interesting how different perspectives, everyone has a different perspective. You can do the same thing with different people and different results come out, right? Yes, yeah. yes, definitely. And w one more thing is about uh, how people uh, feel this. Well, uh, as you may have seen, mm. uh, you saw it. Yes, uh, you, I felt we, it too. We, <laughs> yes, you felt also. We, we, we only tell this for one person each. Yes. And uh, uh, peop some people uh, tell us that, that they have not seen the performance and they tell us, well, it's, it's strange, you, you, you are doing this for one person each, so if, uh, if there are many persons, well, what will happen? Mm -hmm. And uh, there is something very interesting, people are reading the faces. And uh, coming from there, I mean, your experiences with taking them across India, what were the, like, you know, did it, was it, was language a challenge? Uh, I mean, this you can also answer, but, uh, and also, when you, different cities when you were in, what were the responses? Were they similar? Do we see that there is a larger human context which is working? Do you see certain uniquenesses in certain cities in the way uh, the performances happen? Of course, they're intuitive. So, so uh, like I said earlier, they have trained wherever they, to whichever country they go, they train in the local languages. Mm. So for India, I will let him elaborate on that more. So for India, they did they trained in Bengali, Hindi, Urdu and uh, English. English. Wow. So they toured Calcutta, Jaipur, Delhi and they're ending their uh, tour with Bangalore. Yes. Unfortunately, they couldn't repair Canada. Mm. But um, like you uh, mentioned, each it's regardless of which rung of society somebody comes from mm. because poetry is beyond just the words, it's an emotion they are uh, yeah, transfer. transferring. Exactly. So it, what I noticed is that regardless of where they whispered, mm. it always resonated within the people, within each person. Mm. So for example in Jaipur they uh, intervened in their neighborhood mm. with little children on the road. Even that had such an interesting um, response and they were also keen, they were also curious. Similarly, in Jaipur, they also did at a literature festival where you had authors and where you had people with more formal education, as I, we would mm. call it. And uh, I noticed that it's regardless of where you come from, 
what language you speak because there's something more than just words they are transferring yes and so that has been my takeaway of this tour with them hmm. and it's been very special to be around cuz apart from the poetry that they tell you in your ears just for you hmm. they also create this very magical moment with the people who are around so hmm. but it's interesting also that uh, prakriti foundation actually reached out so they reached out to you so when we were planning the tour we decided to uh, collaborate with uh, apart from the you know like apart from neighborhoods mm. and very public spaces we also tried to collaborate with uh, important festivals in the mm. city mm. so in calcutta they collaborated with, with the apj kolkata literature festival similarly in jaipur it was with the jaipur literature festival and in delhi it was in the framework of the india art fair yes and here when we wanted to do in bangalore we had worked earlier with prakriti mm. so we thought and prakriti was on board for doing this project so we yes. were like this would be the right match and that's yeah. how prakriti came on board <laughs> and we managed to put this tour together in bangalore back from the you know the, the performance which has just happened and you've been touring with them through every city and every space uh, what did you find the most interesting parts so i didn't tour with them basically uh, every state only bangalore mm -hmm. uh, so when we heard of this program mm -hmm. as what nicola said for us also the poetry has to be heard so that's where to uh, found the start of the poetry with prakriti festival what you saw in india specifically and uh, how is it different from Uh, the rest of the world your performance is in the rest of the world is there something unique about india and its various facets um i w i would say that uh, there is a, a very welcome approach you know, the people do not fear uh, of the gesture they they are not uh, judgmental they they are curious and uh, this is not question of education from uh, any classes or uh, anywhere we we have been whispering in india we 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 felt this but you know uh, again it's a uh, it's a question uh, of poetry because uh, uh, i started with uh, oliver a few uh, 20 years ago to do this and uh, we didn't believe at first that uh, poetry would be so important in so many different cultures and uh, it's amazing when you think a little bit more about this because uh, you, you you cannot understand why uh, in in every different country they still need uh, that particular kind of writing which is not achieved and where people have to uh, put um, together the parts to with their own core their own roots to 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 let it uh, build and uh, and become a part of uh, everybody so it's like i would say music when you when you do music uh, you can do it alone yes. but uh, when you are uh, 5 10 20 to do music something different happens yeah, it's like that collective voice comes together yes it's interesting So uh, I look forward to uh, having you guys, all of you, next time also with the R&D Foundation, and hopefully we'll do much more and get this voice stronger and all across India.